Hello everyone, welcome to your favorite cash prep channel Quantifiers. In today's DILR set, we are going to do a very good set on games and tournament. Uh, it is more or less the set where you read the set out, read between the lines and you will be very easily able to crack it. But if you are fussy and if you get stuck at a point, you will not be able to do it. Okay. So let's see what the set is all about. The set says, Eight teams play against each other exactly once in the Cricket World Cup. The following is the is also known about the matches they have that have been completed. Each team is awarded two points on a win. So eight teams, each team is going to play seven matches. So the maximum points is forty. Okay. There is no draw in the tournament. No team ended with the same point at the end of the tournament. Fine. It is known that if a team loses a match against an opponent, it also loses the match against those whom the opponent has already lost. So what does that mean? It simply means that let us say that A team has beaten B team. Okay. And then there is C team which has beaten A team. Then it automatically means that since B lost to A, B will also lose to C. So if you are losing, to, losing from an opponent and that opponent has already lost to someone else, you will also lost to that someone else. ठीक है यानी अपने से ताकतवर वाले से अगर आप हारते हो और आपसे ताकतवर वाला अगर किसी और से हारा होगा तो वो ऑटोमेटिकली आपसे बड़ा होगा बेसिकली सिम ऑपरेशन का सिंपल रूल ठीक है इसको फॉलो करेंगे ओके द इनकंप्लीट टेबल शोस द रोस रिप्रेजेंट द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ टीम विद रिस्पेक्ट टू अदर फॉर एग्जांपल दैट ए बी रिप्रेजेंट दैट्स ए हैज बीटन बी सो दिस इज द बेसिक Structure we are going to follow. Right? So let's see. Let's see what it is. Now, uh, okay. So let me just write what I have. A has beaten B, C, and H. So A has beaten B, C, and H. Right? B का नहीं पता. C has beaten. C has beaten. E, e and G. So since A has beaten C and C has beaten these, which means A has also beaten these teams. So E has also beaten E and H. Simple as that. Right. Now uh, D has beaten F. Okay. E has beaten G. Okay. F has beaten A. Interestingly, F has beaten. So D has beaten F, F has beaten A, and A has beaten all these teams. So first of all, this means that if A has beaten all these teams, F has also beaten all these teams. So A, B, C, H, E, G, and since D has beaten F, so F has also beaten, D has also beaten all these teams. A, B, C, H, E, G. So these are all the seven teams. So which means that D has beaten all the seven teams. Fine. And F, okay. आपके बारे में लिख लिया है, then G has beaten none as of now, H has beaten C, so if H has beaten C and C has beaten B, G, so H has also beaten. Okay, so let me now now fill the values and let me try to uh, you know make the things easy. So B C H E G B C H E N G, so H has uh, D has beaten A, so this is zero. F has beaten A, so this is also zero. So with the help of this, I can easily fill this. Okay. How? If two is there, here it will be zero. If two is there, here it will be zero. If it is zero, it will be two. Okay. So it is just vice versa, recursive. Okay. So zero sum game. So if this is two, this is zero. Two. This is zero. Zero. Two. E के सामने आएगा zero. Two. Zero. And So this is what I can make out finally out of it, right? Okay. Uh, B for B we have very less information, so let's be leave B up to C has beaten B E G. Okay, okay. D has beaten all the teams, so D has beaten all the teams, which means two, 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 two and two. So wherever D is, this is zero, 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 and zero. E has beaten G. Okay. 
f has bitten everyone except d so f has bitten everyone except d so where is f row except for d everything else will be zero uh okay f has bitten h oh, yes f has bitten h uh g i have very less information let's leave it h has law h has bitten c b e g c b e and g so 2468 points 2468 10 points uh 14 points 6 points c and h h has bitten c so this is zero uh, i don't know uh, 2 4 6 8 points 2 okay these are 12 points not 10 2 4 6 8 into right so now the only, now only three scores are left zero Two and four. These three scores are left. Let me just try to fill it first of all. So for H, this will be zero. Okay. H, this will be zero. H, eat. Okay. For B, C to B, C has bitten B, so this will be zero. Okay. E to B, I don't know. I don't know. Okay. E to G, G has B to G, G has bitten, so this will be zero. B has bitten G. G has so no no no. We don't know anything about this. So this will also be blank. So basically for B there are two blank values. I don't know anything. Okay. For E, C and E, C has bitten E, so this is zero. E and H, H has bitten E, so it is also zero. So for E it is two plus dash. Okay. Let's see for G. B and G, I don't know. Yeah, I told you. B and E also, I don't know. G and C, C has bitten G, so this is zero. C and E, E and C, so E and G, sorry, G. This is two, so this is zero. And this, and H, H has already bitten G, so this is also zero. So for this, the score is one blank. Now, can I fill these? Uh, so the minimum score with this is two. So it can either be zero or a two. If I am giving this B a zero, which means B is coming out to be. Uh, if I am giving this zero, which means B has bitten E, so B will reach two, and then B will also have to beat G. So this will be zero. In that case, this is one possibility. Okay, that it is four, it is two, it is zero. Is there anything else possible? Let's say I am giving it zero. Uh, I am giving it two, which means that E has bitten B. In this case, this is zero. Okay, and then G and E anything can and B and G can interchange and produce some results. So basically, I cannot fill these values, right? These will remain as it is. I I cannot. I am not able to complete the data. So let's just simply move to the question and try to answer. Which team has won all the matches? D has won all the matches. How many points did H score? H scored eight points. What is the difference between B and E? I don't know. Let's just discuss B and E. Final score is unknown. So answer is C B D or nine nine nine. How many points C F and H scored? C F and H six eighteen twenty six. So this is the final score that they have achieved through this. So with this, we will complete our set. A pretty interesting one, and thank you so much, guys, for watching it. Please do subscribe to our channel. Our new batch is going to start super soon. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day.